just warning y'all, I'm going to get emotional a couple times tonight. Whenever I see a room full of people, after all the we just went through for 15 months, I'm, I'm, I cry easily. You know, I'm a very emotional guy. And I love seeing everybody in here in this room full. Give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. We're very glad to be here at Monk Jazz Club in Austin, Texas. We're going to be playing a bunch of music tonight. Some of us going to swing. Some of us going to be Afro-Cuban. Either way, grab a drink and enjoy yourselves. Here we go.
Dana Dufour on those drums. Elias Hassan girl on this tenor saxophone. Joey Calarusso on the baritone saxophone. Andre Hayward on the trombone. David Maskatek on the piano. Thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so um, that was a, a, a tune called So Long, Eric. And if anybody knows the story behind that name, I, I'll give you $20, but I'll go ahead and tell it because I know nobody knows it other than maybe you. People in the band are excluded from that bet. So that was composed by the great bassist Charles Mingus. And um, they were on tour in Europe in 1964. And Eric Dolphy was this great alto saxophone player in the band. And in the middle of the tour, Eric Dolphy told Charles Mingus, hey man, I'm tired of living in the States. He lived in the States in the 1960s. We all know what was going on in this country in the 1960s. He said, you know what, to hell with living in the United States, I'm gonna come live in Europe. And so Charles Mingus was very upset at Eric Dolphy because he was gonna leave his band because Charles was, Eric Dolphy was a great player. And so he wrote that song out of spite. <laughs> it's so long, Eric. We're gonna play this song and you're gonna miss playing with this band. <laughs> anyway, so long, Eric, by Charles Mingus. We're gonna play a song now that was composed by myself and uh, I wrote this in honor of my hero, the great Louis Armstrong. This song is called Pops is the Tops.
Thank you all very much. How many of y'all been to New Orleans before? Any New Orleans fans up in here? All right. I brought that song. That's what, like, that's what the brass band sound like at 3 in the morning when you're drunk. You know what I'm saying? When you're drunk and you hear the brass bands at 3 in the morning on Freshman Street, that's what we sounded like right there. You know what I'm saying? In a good way. Thank you. We're going to continue now, uh, and we're going to play. I've made a lot of my career the past 10 years or so. Um, I know you want to talk, Colin. I see you. You're like, I know. I got you. When he puts his jacket on, it's like he's ready to talk, you know? Just hold on, man. God. Anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> the past 10 years or so, I've made, uh, I did have to say something, though. That's the thing. I was kidding. Um, the past 10 years or so, I've made uh, a big part of my career playing in uh, Latin jazz orchestras, Afro-Cuban bands. And um, I didn't plan it that way. I mean, I'm just like a little gringo from North Carolina. But um, I don't know. I was drawn to that music, and I was, I was given opportunities to play in bands like um, Arturo Farrell and the uh, Afro-Latin uh, Jazz Orchestra. Uh, and I'm currently a member of the Bobby Sanabria Multiverse Jazz Orchestra. These are bands based in, in New York City. And uh, I've been extremely blessed to, to play in those bands and, and travel with them and, and tour with them. Um, and I wanted to bring some of that to Austin. Yeah. I know there are bands that play this music here in Austin, but... Um, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to lead it. I wanted to do the tunes. And so we're going to play some songs now that um, have that Afro-Cuban vibe. And, you know, this music was um, so important to the history of this country, and particularly in New York, because, you know, this music, Afro-Cuban music, salsa music, it was born in New York. And this music, I mean, it influenced artists, it influenced poets, influenced cooks, you know, chefs. Um, because it was the fabric of the cultural background of New York in the 1930s and 1940s in places like Spanish Harlem uh, or other places in New York that, you know, um, were not or were, were, were culturally more hip than other parts of New York. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, before we play that stuff, I know Colin wants to say a couple of things. He's itching. He's got his talking jacket on. Mitch, <laughs> put your hands together for Colin Chuck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you so much for coming. My name's Colin, this is my uh, jazz event series recording studio hybrid crazy thing. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, if you are tuning in online, we have a packed house in the studio tonight, but it's a very limited seating audience. So if you wanna leave a tip, please go to Mike's Venmo or PayPal, it's right there in the corner. I know you'll never say anything about it, so I gotta say something. Give it up for Mike Sailors, everybody. What an amazing arranger and everything. Um, and two more things. Please go to the monksjazz.com website and sign up for our email list. It's the best way to get notified of these shows. We send only one email per week now, so you won't get spammed by us. Um, and it's the best way to beat the algorithm. Uh, thirdly, Fourthly, and fifthly, we have the uh, Daniel Dufour and Richard Michael and Andrew Friedrich trio this Saturday night at 7.30. That's this drummer right here. Give it up for Daniel Dufour. And, uh, and uh, let's see, Christian, excuse me, Cameron Riggs. I always confuse Christian who's here, but uh, Cameron Riggs is a piano player in town. He's a... Uh, got his degree in philosophy from the U, uh, University of North, damn it, University of Texas. I always get flustered up here. How's everybody doing out there tonight? I'm, de I'm derailing your whole gig, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but he's a fantastic piano player and played with all the guys in town and he never got to do a jazz recital because he didn't uh, major in music, so he's doing his freshman recital here on Sunday. So please come check that out. And uh, we've got uh, four more shows next week. So uh, thank you all so much for coming. Please come back to the east side. And what do you uh, have up next again, man? Thank, thank you. you. Colin Shook, everybody. So we're going to shift the 
musical focus of the night to more of a Latin vibe. And I know that's, I know, you waiting for it. I know, I can tell. Yeah, I mentioned this to a couple people. Thank you, so I've seen some of you before. And uh, I, I mentioned to some of you that I was gonna be doing this. And the, that's right. That's the thing, you see, I don't speak, I don't speak Spanish either, man. I, sh I wish I did, man. I love this music so much. But I will say, I know, right, you speak Spanish. I will say that when I, when I would mention the idea of doing a concert like this, people were so happy that they were going to hear this music. So I'm really excited to be playing this music for you. And so a uh, trumpet player from Austin, Texas named Kenny Dorham, who was a very, very famous musician in the 1950s and 1960s, played with Charlie Parker. He was one of the uh, very few people, along with Dizzy Gillespie and others, to bring in Afro-Cuban rhythms into jazz music. And he did it on a record called Af Afro-Cuban. Yes, not Uno Mas, because everybody plays Uno Mas, but it, not that it's a bad song, but I wanted to do another song off that record. And this features some of those Afro-Cuban vibes. This is entitled Sao Paulo.
Thank you very much. Daniel Dufour on the drums, everybody. Keep, it, keep your hands going together. Ryan Hagler on the bass. And I want to introduce this next gentleman. This is Sweet Lou Holmes. And all the cats up here probably, probably know him, but we just met tonight. And, um, you know, I was asking cats around town. Let me just preface this by saying that there are a lot of great musicians in Austin, but these gentlemen are like, the cats I want to play with all the time. You know what I'm saying? Not to slight anybody else in town. There's great musicians in town, but the way I play and the music I write, these exact people are the cats I'm trying to play with all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when we add somebody to that mix, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I try to be very selective about people we bring in, you know? And I talk to a, peop a couple people in town. I was like, man, I need a conga player that's like killing. Not only can play Afro Cuban, but like can swing, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and can work on little direction. And so, like four or five people was like, man, you gotta call Sweet Lou. You gotta call Sweet Lou. So give it up for Sweet Lou Holmes. You might have seen him around town playing with Grupo Fantasma. I don't know how long he's played with that band, but probably a long time. Too, he says too long. <laughs> This is streaming, I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're, so we're lucky to have him up here, and, um, and, and I, I mean, we're gonna be playing some, we're gonna be working together, you know what I'm saying, man? We're gonna be doing some gigs. This is not the last time, so. So um, anyway, we're gonna move along now and slow it down a little bit more, and um, I texted Elias a couple of days ago, I said, man, I want to feature you on the ballad or a slow song, and, and what do you want to play? And the first thing he said was, East of the sun, west of the moon. In yeah. D flat. Ooh. I said, okay, man, here we go. <laughs> so I wrote this little arrangement. I finished it this morning. I'm a procrastinator, so you know I do everything very last minute. So I finished this arrangement this morning. I think it sounds pretty good. And it's going to feature Elias in his beautiful tone that he gets on the tenor saxophone. And I, I will say this, and, and not, to, not, not to brag, but I play with a lot of tenor players and a lot of great tenor players, but Elias Hoslinger has got a tone that is unmatched, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So every time I do one of these gigs, I, I always want to feature Elias on a song so you all can hear his beautiful tone and the way he plays his tenor saxophone. We're also going to feature the great David Mescatech on the piano on this one. This is East of the Sun.
Laya Sassinger, everybody.
Malaya Sassinger, everybody. I told y'all, didn't I? I told you it was going to be good. <laughs> Devin Meskitek on the piano. David is from South Texas originally. Just, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna like go off your bio. Just stop me when I mess up, okay, David? <laughs> Grew up in South Texas and then went to school in Colorado for a couple years. Got a master's degree. No? Yes? No. Uh, no. <laughs> master's at Texas State. Master's at Texas State. Then went to Colorado and came back. And now he's gonna be a student at the University of Texas in the fall. And uh, I also I teach at the University of Texas. And so we are very lucky and um, excited to have him joining the program in the fall. Um, he's a, already an amazing player, and so it's exciting to have grad students come in who have some experience and you know, can already play the instrument very well. So I'd like to bring up another guest now. Um, and like I said before, I, I teach at UT, and um, this is like teaching at UT is like my first real job I've ever had. <laughs> And I'm like serious about that. I've, I've been a musician my entire life. You know, I started, I, I went to school and then right when I got out of school, I've been a musician my entire life. I've never had a real job. The last real job I had was waiting tables at a Chili's in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I got fired from it because I was so bad at it. So, you know, I think it's a pretty good first job after that to have. But um, I didn't see myself becoming a professor after you know, playing for almost 20 years, but um, it's a very fulfilling job to have, and I'm very grateful to have it, particularly during the pandemic, but I'm, 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 I'm grateful to have it because I get to experience uh, people like myself, uh, you know, in their 20s, I mean, I'm not in my 20s anymore, but people who want to become musicians and are very passionate about it, and this past year, as we all know, we need going through a pandemic has been especially hard on people who are in college who are music majors because if you go to the University of Texas, you can't play in the ensembles, we can't have any in-person lessons. It's very difficult for somebody who's coming to school to learn how to play their instrument in a band and become a professional musician. It's already hard enough to be, become a professional musician and, and make a, 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 you know, a living where you can you know, be like Elon Musk, you know? Damn near impossible, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's especially hard during a pandemic because we can't play together. And so my next guest is actually my grad student at the University of Texas. And there's a great story about this gentleman. His father was my band director in North Carolina. And his father is the reason why I am a professional musician now. His father is a great trumpet player in North Carolina, and his son, my grad student, is also an exceptional trumpet player. So can you put your hands together for our next guest, Mr. Jonah Springs. <laughs> now Jonah is somebody that, like David, even though he's a grad student and a uh, student at UT, he's already had a lot of professional experience. So when he plays, he doesn't play like a student. You know what I'm saying? He's a great lead trumpet player, and I thought about him when we were going to do this next song. I was like, man, Jonah would sound great playing some high notes on this. So we're going to play this song that was composed by Mario Bauza for the great Chucho Valdez. And this is entitled Chucho.
Jonah Springs, everybody, on that lead trumpet. Sweet Lou on those congas. One more time, Jonah Springs on that lead trumpet. All right, all right. Whew. Man. I'll tell you what, man. Gosh, that's a hard song to follow. Dang. What we can, thank you. What we can do, man. I'm sweating through mine, I tell you that. I don't know about these other cats up here, but I'm sweating through mine. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> Colin, we just have time for one more, right? This is a long one, so this is probably going to be our last song of the night, y'all. And um, wow, well, I was expecting a lot more sad sounds than that, but that's okay. <laughs> well, no, 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 I'm just begging for him. I'm just begging for him. And uh, but before we do this last song, um, I just want to thank you all for um, coming out here tonight on a Thursday night. Give yourselves a round of applause. Um, before we play this song, I just, I've been doing a lot of thinking about the pandemic and I know everyone's tired of talking about it, but um, I was playing a, a club date. A club date is what musicians call like weddings, you know? So I was playing a club date um, this past weekend and um, we were playing like, I don't know, like Brick House or YMCA or some shit like that, you know? <laughs> and, and, I, I'll, and I'll be honest with you, I started like, I told you I'm an emotional person. I started like crying in the middle of it. And uh, I'm getting emotional talking about it now, but it's because there was this guy and the, and the band I play with, they'll, if you're watching, you'll know this guy I'm talking about, this guy you can tell he was like dancing like no one was watching. This guy had been in his house for 15 months and he didn't give a <laughs> This dude, before even like the dinner got served, he sweated through his shirt, sweated through his coat. This dude was dancing so hard. And um, I started getting like emotional just looking at him. I was like, God, man, that guy is like, he's us. He's everybody in the pandemic, like coming out of the pandemic, right? And it's like ready to get back at it, you know? And, um, and I, this, over the past two weeks, I've had like a lot of gigs and it got to be like almost too much. Like even this morning, I was like, oh man, I'm getting too busy and I don't know how I stayed this busy for 20 years. And uh, in some aspects of the pandemic, I'm like kind of sad to see go. Like I'm, I like not having anything to do, you know? <laughs> I like that, you know. I met some cool people during the pandemic. My golf buddies are here, they're sitting over here. We've been playing golf two or three times a week, and I'm really sad to see that go. I mean, I, you know, I work at UT, so I got all summer off. So we still got the summer, but you know, I, I you know, I met some nice people, and 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 now we're getting busy again, especially musicians and. And there are, there's that one aspect I'll miss. And the thing that I'm gonna try to take into my life, my professional life going forward is just like not taking so much stuff and being grateful for, you know, bad dancers at weddings dancing to Brick House, you know? And just being grateful for the moment we have. And, and I say all that to say thank you all so much for being here. I know there are other places to be on a Thursday night in Austin, but you all chose to be here. And that means a lot to us. Thank you very much. We're gonna play one last song before you. Before I do that, I just want to introduce this great band one more time. Elias Hostinger on the tenor saxophone. Joey Carl Russo on the baritone. The great Andre Hayward on the trombone. Sweet Lou on those congas. The hardest working drummer in Texas, Daniel Dufour. Ryan Hackler on the bass. David Meskatek on the piano, Jonah Springs on the guest lead trumpet. I'm Mike Sailors, thank you all so much. We're gonna close out with a song composed by the great Mario Bauza. You're gonna hear from everybody in the band on this one. This is entitled Mambo In.
Ryan Hagler on that bass, everybody. very much thank you monks jazz club colin shook keep your hands together for him thank you all very much and have a great night